What up, G-Life fam? It's your boy MC Shadow coming at you with another reaction. It's been so I liked it with the music reaction. I've been backed up with the um, with the channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, got you know, the G series. You know the the Vado art. The I'm working on some some other shit that I'm gonna bring to the channel. Uh, interviews. Uh, you know, gotta do the interview stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, gonna bring, be bringing interviews with homeboys and just a whole bunch of stuff for the channel. You know what I'm saying? So, homie's been having a lot on his plate, you know, maneuvering through it all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, but you know what I mean? I ain't gonna be neglecting the music. You already know I love the music. So, now you guys already know how this versus rap battle works. Go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you, whatever rola you think is the rolas that are chingon. Or whatever, and then when you leave your rola, you only get to pick one one Chicano rap artist. I mean, you could keep uh, participating, but at least for one video, just one Chicano rap artist and the rola. And then the next person to comment whatever he thinks that Chicano rap artist and, and that rola, they will go up against each other, you know, and um, where we will judge who the winner is. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, next one that's coming up is... Uh, uh, S.A. Little G from Crime Family, the homie right there. Uh, his video's next and is going to be going up against, uh, I think it was a, a brown terrorist that uh, Shadow Skills picked. Uh, you know what I mean? And obviously, uh, S.A. Little G picked his video. Um, and that's the next one that's coming up. Um, this one was picked by uh, Louis, uh, Louis, Louis uh, Mendoza. Um, so, homie Louis, uh, don't think I forgot about you, my boy. Uh, here we are. Uh, so, you know, you guys go ahead and leave it and we'll get into it. Now, he actually brought up a good idea. Popper those versus Spanish Fly. Who's the best? Well, we're about to get into it. Let's see who could rock the mic better. Starting off with Proper Dose. Oh, me fucking know. There we go. Now, something people need to understand about Frank V, or proper those in general, the beat is fucking perro, dog. This fucking beat is. This beat, remember this, remember this music is. We're talking about this music from the nineties, homie. It, and we're in two thousand twenty, and it still sounds good, homie. It aged well. Um, the fucking beat was phenomenal, ahead of its time. Frank V's rhymes, his storytelling, his storytelling, bro, his storytelling. Do you hear his storytelling? He's describing the streets like a game of baseball. Do you hear his storytelling, homie? His rhymes, storytelling, his pacing, his voice. He had so much, he has so much gifts, it's not even funny. He has so much gifts, it's not even funny. Uh, when he really wants to, homie rocks the mic, dog. Plain and simple. Frank V is a fucking legend. Proper those in general is a fucking legend. Dog. They're just phenomenal. Check the CD out. Gotta own the CD, homie. Serio. Throw that soul in there. So with my internet, I'm glitching like a motherfucker. You don't know me that good. If you don't know that I can swing 
a bat, good. You would think I was a good friend of Casey. I'm standing on the plate, but them boothos won't face me. Mm. They know I do damage. They know I'm a savage. And they know my bat and average. Mm. Ain't nothing nice, mm. bitch. You punk motherfuckers better stop and think twice. Before you fuck with the West Side crew. Tell me sick, dog. I took what I took. Because I think I'm hallucinating, soldier. Because all I see is a baseball on top of your shoulders. Mm. That was hard. <laughs> Telling you, better try to come back next season and don't expect us to go on strike because we'll be some ghetto baseball playing motherfuckers for life. Man, I think that's the, yeah, that's the end of the roll right here because right here's just the beat. Look, let me tell you something about proper those and Frank V. The way he metaphors things and he's t- his storytelling and the way he was just metaphoring. The, the, um, the metaphors that he was bringing in there uh, Mixing with the story Man homie Keep this in mind We're talking about this is the 90s homie Like the early 90s uh, This is like So just pretend you never heard the music from, from the 2000s uh, To where we're at now This was way ahead of its time homie Way ahead of its time Homie has skills So when people out there be like The Raza got no skills The Raza can't rap Look what these fools were doing since the early 90s, homie. Look what they were doing. And to not even be embraced or nothing like that? Come on now, homie. You gonna tell me that there's not something there's not something there? There's not some kind of like vendetta against the brown? I mean, come on. The proof is in the pudding, dog. <laughs> but that was proper those. So we're gonna bring Spanish fly now. And let's see what Spanish fly brings. Now we got... Now we got Spanish Fly right here who's going to go up against uh, the proper those. So let's see what Spanish Fly brings to the table. Let's get into it. This song right here is dedicated to all the filthy, disgusting hood rats. That was a dedicated to you disgusting hood rats. <laughs> Now, I know I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get hate for this, but you guys, if you guys follow my channel, you guys already know that I never sugarcoat nothing, I never bullshit nothing, and I always tell it how it is. I don't care about the backlash. I, I could only be honest. I never bullshit. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Spanish Fly. I was never a fan of Spanish Fly. I really don't like Spanish Fly's music. I buy it. I support him and everything like that because he's raza. But I just never felt his music. Uh, I'm not a hater. I'm not saying he sucks or nothing. It's just not for me. Uh, the reason it's not for me is his uh, just his stilo. Uh, but besides the stilo, um, the way he storytells and he raps, like uh, to me, he goes off beat. Um, I know it sounds like I'm fucking like just like I have hatred towards him or something. Like I'm just around. but it's not that. Trust me. It like. All respects to you, my boy, that you made it, and and, and, and do keep doing your thing, you know. Um, just for me, it's just that, you know, like the off-pacing on the beat, um, uh, the, the, when he's telling a story, like he'll come in with rhymes, but it, but um, it won't connect to what he was talking about, you know. So it's just like sometimes people have to understand you could rhyme, but it also has to go with the story you're telling, you know, because then it's just like, whoa, what was that all about? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, uh, you're digging it or whatever, but it, like it completely went off from where you were at, uh, like how he just uh, did right now. Um, you know what I mean? Like he has rapping skills. It's just like uh, the way the producer could have had him like, oh, well, you know what? Like right here, you could 
it just went off with a story or like you know what i mean like there's a time for like a beat where you're just rhyming and rhyming or when you're telling a story and, and, and stuff like that so like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't go together it doesn't connect like smoothly with me compared to uh proper those that it was going uh smoothly um you, um just my opinions uh you know i know people are gonna be like you're a hater i'm not like i'm only honest but trust me because you know like i'm glad homie you know it's chingon i mean who the fuck am i anyway That verse was better. That verse was better. Uh, you know, he went off a little bit, a little bit, but but it was better. It was better. It was better. Um, you know, I think he wrote the song, um, not hearing the beat, and he's like, we're just trying to get it out there. Uh, sometimes he's not good to do that, though, because it isn't cool. Damn, Khalifa Thug's got talent. See, where, where the problem with Silencer's part right there is that he was trying to tear the beat up, but there's a time and a place for everything. Uh, this is not one of these beats that you just want to go in there. Even though it sounded dope in the beginning, now you see that he just he's eager to throw it out there and it, it's just not going to go. Um, there's a time and place for everything. And it's not one of those times. Uh, okay. Now, Spanish Fly and Proper Those. The points is going to go to Proper Those. Uh, Proper Those is just very hard to beat. I mean, um, he's just a legend. I, it, it was really hard for me to find a song, a Spanish Fly, that could match it. This is the only one that uh, of his songs that, that I dig. Um, I know there's the other one, and I'm not, I am not. didn't choose that one for obvious reasons. <laughs> I know it's going to get brought up or uh, whatever. And... You know, it is what it is. I'm not the one that's hating or nothing. Like, hey, homie, we all humans. I got my own issues. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, that's just something right there. Um, I'm, I don't mean to hate on Spanish flyer or nothing like that. It's just, uh, it's not for me. Um, but, you know, ho I'm glad homie's doing his thing. And hopefully, you know, he, he keeps, you know, doing his thing and, and and makes it up there. You know what I mean? Uh, personally, me, is just not, it's not my style. Um, you know what I mean? But... Proper those is fucking phenomenal. But this one's going to proper those. But go ahead and leave it in the comments. What do you guys think? You know, like, you know, these are just my opinions. You know, everyone's entitled to theirs. So go ahead and leave what you guys think in the comments. And MC Shadow, I'm out.